So now part F. Now in part F, you might be tempted to try to rewrite this by moving the base over, but the problem is there's another log that's being multiplied right next to it. So that's not going to be an option. All right, on this one, what I'm going to do is uh, look at the bases, and we're going to exploit the fact that 8 is a power of 2. Now, 3 is a power of 9, but not probably not one you're thinking about. So first one, 8 is 2 cubed. We've seen that before. So log base 2 of 2 cubed. All right, the second log, we have log base 9 of... All right, so I'm going to write 9 as a power of 3. Uh, normally, you don't think of 9 as a power of 3. You think 3 squared is 9. It's pretty easy to move the power over. How do you move a square over? You square root both sides. So 3 equals 9 to the 1 half power. Half power is the square root. So there we go. Why did I write them like this? We're going to use that same property I wrote above. Log base a of a to the m equals m. So we're using this property. We can use it in both logs. Log 2 of 2 to the 3 is just 3. And log 9 of 9 to the half is a half. 3 times a half is 3 halves. So that's all there is for part f. Once you see the property, it's obvious, but it can be very tricky if you don't if you don't realize that these bases uh, and the input that these numbers are powers of each other. So you have to notice that. All right, next up, d equals two log two of seven. So here we have an exponential composed of the log, which also cancels out. So if you write them in the other order, so if we have base a. Uh -oh. If we have base a to the log base a of m, this a to the log a cancels and you just get m. So this one's actually trivial when you realize that these functions are being composed, base 2, base 2, everything works out. You're just going to get d equals 7. There's not much going on on this part g. Part h, however, is quite a bit going on. Okay, so on this one, let's get all the logs on one side, and luckily that means the only thing left will have no x's in it as well. So that'll be a nice little bonus. Log 5x plus 3 plus log 5x minus 1 equals 1. All right, now the sum of logs is a product inside. So this is log 5 of x plus 3 times x minus 1 equals 1. Next up, I do need to get the log out of here, so I'm going to use the definition of the log, which will move the base to the other side. So this will give us x plus 3 times x minus 1 equals base 5 to the first power. Do not forget that this 5 shows up as a base over here. And then what you're, this 1, what you're looking at becomes the exponent. All right. <clears throat> It's tempting to just say x equals negative 3, x equals 1, but this is horribly wrong. We can check this one super fast. We plug in 1. 1 minus 1 is 0 times anything is not 5. So this zero product property only works when your product equals 0. We don't have a zero product here. So the best we can do is FOIL this out. x squared plus 3x minus x is plus 2x minus 3 equals 5, subtract 5 over x squared plus 2x minus 8 equals 0. I could go complete the square, but we just did that earlier, so let's go uh, factor get lucky and see if we can get lucky here. So 8 is 2 times 4. The reason that I'm thinking 2 times 4 is because the difference between 2 and 4 is 2. So we got 4, 2. I want positive 2. Uh, the reason I knew that it was 1, negative 1, positive, because I need to multiply and get a negative. That only happens with a positive negative. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. 4 minus 2 is positive 2. So this is how this will factor out. So x equals, we now use a zero product property because we have a product equaling 0. So x is negative 4 or x equals positive 2. 
However, this one started out being a log, and if we think about negative four, negative four, when you plug it into here, you're gonna get negative four plus three is negative. Your domain for your logs has to be positive. So that means negative four is out. Positive two, positive two plus three is five, no problem. Positive two minus one over here works out also, because two minus one is one. All right, so there's our only answer for that. All right, so we're gonna part I here. This actually looks very similar. First thing I'm gonna do is combine these two together. So addition outside is multiplication inside. All right, log is a one-to-one -one function, which means what we're looking at is f of a equals f of b. Uh, because it's one-to-one, -one, that means the inputs had to match, meaning you can cancel the functions. Only because they're one-to-one -one here. So that means x times x minus two equals x plus four. So that equals that. Uh, and this works again because the log function is one-to-one, -one, so you can cancel them out or undo them with their inverse. All right, from here, x squared minus 2x, I'm distributing. And let's get crazy and subtract x, subtract 4 at the same time equals 0. x squared minus 2x minus 4 is minus 3x minus 4 equals 0. So again, we're back in quadratic land. I think we can factor get lucky here. Notice I have not used a quadratic formula. I'm not a very big fan of numbers, so I avoid them whenever possible. All right, so I need to multiply, get negative. So it's a plus minus, and I see the difference needs to be three, so it's making me think of one and four, or four and one. I need negative. So I'm guessing and checking. So if I multiply, get negative four. Now, I have negative x plus four x is positive three x, so that's not right. And if I just switch my signs, now I'll get a product of negative four, negative four x plus x is negative three x. So we got x equals four or x equals negative one. We did start with logs here, so I gotta be careful. If I try negative one, negative one's gonna fail right here and right here, so negative one is out. The other x value of four, four works here, and four minus two is still positive, and of course four plus four is positive, so four does work. Generally, when you get two solutions, the smaller one's gonna be invalid. All right, so we're into our last problem. Now, we did one like this in class. So the first thing we're gonna do, four to the u is two squared to the u, which is two to the two u, which I can write as two to the u squared. All right, I'm gonna rewrite that first term so we had four to the u plus six times two to the u plus eight equals zero. Now you're gonna notice my fours look a lot like my u's. Everybody has some uh, aspects of their font, of their writing that look similar. My u's and my fours look similar, so be careful. All right, we just wrote down why four to the u is two to the u squared plus six times two to the u plus eight equals zero. So I'm gonna make a substitution and let y equal two to the u. So I have y squared plus six y plus eight equals zero. And look at that, another quadratic. Maybe we can factor get lucky. All right, eight, and there's eight times one or four times two. I do need to add to make positive six. This is positive, so everything needs to be positive here. So we'll just try four and two, four times two is eight, two y plus four y is six y, this works. So we get y equals negative two, y equals negative four. We got a big problem because, what the heck is y? Let's look at the question. If I ask you a question about u's and you tell me, oh yeah, y is two or four, or negative two or negative four, it doesn't make any sense. So we need to substitute back in to u's. So y is two, to the u equals negative two, and again, two to the u equals negative four. All right, so this actually is a serious issue because we have no uh, two, there's no power you can raise two to get a negative. 
Uh, if we try to solve for u, we can do that pretty easily using the logarithm. So we'll move to the base the other side. Hopefully in this form, you can see the big problem. We're not allowed to have negative input to our log. So this is an invalid solution. And we're gonna go back to the other side. The exact same thing happens over here. U equals, we're gonna move this base to the other side. Log two of negative four, we have the same problem over here. And we get uh, no solution because you can't have negative input. So we get no solution. We had to work pretty hard for no solution on this question.